had a situation that's pretty bad. Uh, when you're playing lockdown and the guy on top gets double uh, underhooks on you. And typically what can happen is like they'll drive and put your shoulders up and uh, it's really hard to recover from that. So maybe I'll just show him super quick here. Zoom on the bottom. And just uh, try this way. So Dean's on the bottom, right? He's getting his lockdown together. And I have head and arm. And if, maybe if Dean's just waiting here a little bit too long or maybe he's, he's doing the pimp arm to my hip here. But maybe I can kind of dig from this double under and come up this way and kind of connect, maybe catching his shoulders. And start to open and kick and drive. It's, it's not so hard to pass from there if you get the arms up high. Right, so on the last Mastering the System, Eddie showed a pretty nice uh, counter and kind of idea about how to uh, reverse the game and kind of put it back in our favor. So let's take a look here. So, uh, so Dean's on top lockdown, right? He's got head and arm. First things first, I get my overhook going to my elbow. I get this hand in one of three positions, right? On his hip, on his shoulder, or here digging for the underhook. But let's just say in this case, I go for the pimp arm, right? I squeeze my knees, extend, lift my toes back towards my head, and diagonalize the pressure here, right? So my overhook, everything's looking pretty good. But unfortunately, uh, Dean disconnects from my head and starts to dig for this underhook. And if I don't do anything here, Dean's gonna flatten me out and bring my arms up and totally screw up my whole, uh, my whole situation. Right, but uh, a nice little scenario is that he, when Dean digs for the underhook, right, it's not so easy for him to dig up here, right, to get like a high rate right away. He has to go a little bit lower where the leverage is more in his favor. Right? So we start again, sorry. So we're back up here. So I got my pimp arm, my overhook together. Dean starts to dig for the underhook, so he gets it. And as soon as it's past my elbow, go. lock my other hand together. Now I have two pretty strong overhooks on them and my lockdown uh, working together, right? So from here, uh, we can still do a lot of our head and arm stuff, right? So I'm gonna take my foot out at the bottom and I'm gonna do the stomp to the butterfly. So I release my inside foot here, I release the inside foot, stomp, and insert a butterfly here. And in this case, I'm gonna sweep them over to the right side. So I'm just gonna elevate and lift and come up to the on belly with kind of a darse, a darse hook, something like that. So boom, 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 one, two, three again. Dean digs. So again, I put together a grip and I try to get real tight here, almost like I'm trying to guillotine his arms. So let's say I've done this to Dean before. So I sweep my, I put my butterfly hook in. This time Dean's gonna base out on the far side. So he bases out over here. Yeah, to stop me from butterfly sweeping him that way. So if you guys can see already, I'm sure, there's a cheeky little uh, assisted butterfly hip bump sweep here. And again, I come up to the same kind of good position. So again, boom, boom, boom. So Dean digs. I put it a grip together, and I'm squeezing like hell. So, uh, I'll do the same thing again. So I go for my stomp, Dean bases. So I can also, not only butterfly sweep in this way, but I check, and now I can butterfly sweep in this way. Change and come up. So you can butterfly sweep both ways there, which is pretty cool. So again, Overhook, then bar, extend, lift, diagonalize the pressure. Dean digs. I put my grip together, and I'm squeezing like hell. Ball and socket, I think works pretty well. But you just need a basic kind of a guillotine grip, right? So I go for my stomp again. One, two, and Dean bases out on this side. Right? So again, I can maybe release a little bit here, help myself push and I can come up into uh, pyramid or come straight to rubber guard. Let's do that transition one more time. So boom, boom, boom. I got my overhook team digs. All right, boom, boom, boom. Put my grip together, go for my stomp, right, Dean bases. 
and I just come straight up. I can go butterfly here, and there's plenty of space. So I can go full rubber guard on his hip, or stay three-quarter rubber guard and get to my side here. And then from here we've got loads of options. All the stuff, all the rubber guard stuff we, we know. So, so there's also one last option, which if you really like butterfly guard, uh, you can do. So boom, 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 everything's together. Bang, flatten him out. He digs for it, I put my grip together. So as I go, I get a stomp, Dean bases, I can just sit up and come straight to kind of a cocoon uh, situation. Except it's, cocoon is over under, but we can come to double over. And if I have the chance, I want to bring his elbows together and stop him from connecting his hands around behind my back. So if I'm here, I keep my double overs, and then again, from here, it's, it's nice and easy to sweep, or I can even just go back again. If he's blocking my rubber guard on this side, because he knows I like that side, I can just go over this side. Totally fine. Okay, so that's looking at some different options when you're playing lockdown, and the guy digs for the overhook, or so the underhook on your pimp arm side, which has happened to me a lot when you're playing against bigger, stronger, bigger, stronger, and better guys. So yes, yeah, so you get the overhook, you've got butterfly sweep, same side lockdown, butterfly sweep, opposite side lockdown, uh, transition to uh, rubber guard, transition to cocoon, and also that cheeky little hip hop sweep there if you can catch it base and out. So that's it, thanks a lot.